Today we are learning how to identify and show decimals using models. Let's say you're asked to identify the decimal shown in this model. Now before we get to the model, let's refresh ourselves on decimals. We have our whole numbers, like hundreds, tens, and ones. We could show one whole as the square. And in our video covering tenths, we discussed that if you cut this square into ten pieces, you have the decimal called tenths. Today we're going to go over that when you cut this square up even more, so that the one whole is cut up into 100 pieces, now you're working with the decimal place value called hundredths. One of these little squares can be called one hundredth. As a fraction, we write that it's one piece out of 100, and as a decimal, we write it as 0 .01, because behind the decimal there are zero tenths, but we have one little hundredth. So let's say we're shown this model, and we need to identify what decimal it is. Well, first we want to count out how many hundredths do we have. You could count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, there are 10 in a column. So 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So using words, we could describe this model as 35 hundredths. As a fraction, we would write that 35 pieces out of 100 are shaded. And finally, as a decimal, we can write 35 hundredths as 0.35. Now, if you've been paying attention, you might be confused why 35 hundredths has a 3 in the tenths place and a 5 in the hundredths place. We'll notice that when we shade 35 hundredths, we're shading the same amount as if we shaded 1, 2, three tenths. So we can write 35 hundredths as three tenths and then those five extra hundredths. Let's do one of these together. Let's identify the decimal shown in this model. Here's our place value chart and our model. Before we start, what can we call one of these little square pieces? Remember that we call each little square piece one hundredth. And how do you write one hundredth as a fraction? You write it as one piece out of one hundred. How do you write one hundredth as a decimal? We write it as 0 .01 because we have zero tenths but one hundredth. Now let's get to our model. How many pieces do we have shaded? Well you can count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62. So using words you could say we have 62 hundredths. How do you write 62 hundredths as a fraction? Well you write that we have 62 pieces out of 100. How do you write 62 hundredths as a decimal? You write it as 0.62 with 6 tenths and 2 hundredths because shading 62 hundredths is the same as shading 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tenths. So we can write it as 6 tenths and then those 2 extra hundredths. Now it's time for you to try some of these on your own. Identify the decimal shown in this model. Here's a place value chart and a model. Select all the answers that correctly identify the model. Well, you can count that we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46 pieces. So using words, you'd write that we have 46 hundredths. As a fraction, you write that we've shaded 46 pieces out of all 100. And as a decimal, it's 0.46, with a 4 in the tenths and a 6 in the hundredths because 46 hundredths is the same as 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, there are those 4, and then 6 extra hundredths. Here's your last problem for today. Identify the decimal shown in this model. Here's your place value chart and your model. Select all the correct answers. Well, you can count that we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 pieces, or 18 hundredths, shaded. As a fraction, it's 18 out of 100. And as a decimal, it's 0.18, with that 1 in the tenths place and 8 in the hundredths. Because 18 hundredths is the same as 1 tenth and 8 hundredths. So from today, remember, hundredths are the second decimal place value.